it is Asteroid Boy. It is Astro Boy Pack Dude here, and I want to welcome you to my next let's play of Astro Boy Omega Factor. All right, so getting this started right here. Uh, you guys might be thinking, what is this? Why are you playing this? This is such a uh, such an obscure game that you're playing. All right, just gonna be sitting the main menu here while I talk about it. Um, the reason I'm playing this game is because I uh, really like I really like this game. Um, I've been playing this game. Uh, a bunch of times as a kid. I beat this game like many, many times. And uh, I just wanted to, you know, do a playthrough of it because, you know, for nostalgia for myself and hopefully it'll be enjoyable for you guys as well. And, uh, and, uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and get started. Astro Boy Omega Factor. Alright. Uh, name. Let's go with P. D. A. <laughs> PDA. Uh, I'm gonna go normal cuz I am not that good at this game Dobio oh my son how could this be open your eyes Dobio please my boy this can't be happening <clears throat> I won't let you die like this not if I can help it I'll do everything I can to bring you back no I'll do more I'll do better than that I'll make you better than human Dobio my son I don't know why I gave him that voice, but whatever. And there he is. Oh, birth. Alright, let's get started. Oh, so you're finally awake now, Astro. I'm Dr. O'Shea. I'm here on behalf of your father. I'm sure you're a little disoriented. Why don't you just sit and listen? Hmm, I shall go over your basic functions, okay? How does that sound? If you always know how to basic the basics and want to proceed, just press start. Okay, let's begin. All right, I'm gonna go to do the um, tutorial. All right, I just use the control pad to walk. All right, I'm gonna get the um, take this moment to um, tell you guys why I haven't been uploading in a while. It's because I've been, you know, sick, sick. Yeah, being sick sucks. It sucks a lot, <coughs> and I'm still a little bit. I still have a little bit of cough in me, but that's all right. So you press uh, control pad to move. And all that jazz. All right, good, good. Okay, it's dash control buttons twice. You're invisible while dashing, so you can enemy. All right, next to the A button, you can jump using the A button to control your jets. Press the control pad and A while airborne. Use your jets to fly to high areas as you can by jumping. Head to the next target by jumping and using your jets to fly. Make sure you press the A button again as you press the control pad. All right, there's your jets right here. You can use your jets only once for now, but you can use it more times as you level it up. Uh, sorry if I spoiled it there, but seriously, am I even like mentioning spoilers in the Astro Boy game? I mean, seriously. Also, get up there, Astro. Thank you. Okay, great. After put pressing the A button to jump, press this control pad to position yourself before you land. Press this B button. You can punch using the B button. All right. So we want to kill this, lo kill these losers by punching. We have a three punch combo for now. Uh, I think we always have a three punch combo anyway. All right. All right, good job. After I'm done talking, look at the top right corner of the screen. You'll see numbers that increase as you fight. This shows the neurons in your electronic brain. Humans call this experience. We'll call it score for easier reference. So first, just concentrate on surviving. But later on, try to get the highest score that you can. It gets record. All right, next is the finger laser. If you press B and up on the control pad simultaneously, it will activate the finger laser. It's a long range attack. Alright, so, use the finger laser, like this. Alright, as he says, he it is a great long range attack. I really like the finger laser, it's really good. Alright, kicking, press B, and the control pad down. Kicking are an effective way because they'll knock your enemies away. Try kicking as your fourth attack right after your 3k combo. Make your way, alright, like this. Like this. Boom. Boom. Like that. 
Look at the top center of the screen for a bar when I'm done talking and notice that the bar fills up as you punch enemies when this bar is filled up it'll increase your total EX power you need to execute special attacks now let me tell you about your EX power your arm cannon or your Kamehameha will indeed be your most powerful attack and the machine gun will hit all nearby enemies it will stun them and immobilize them and the AX dash press A and B simultaneously and each use okay use blah 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 Alright, this is the arm cannon. It's awesome. Look at this. Yep, it, it is a command. Alright, this is machine gun. Like you said, he will use... Uh, hit all the enemies around. So it's a good um, attack if you're surrounded by enemies. And this is the EX dash. It's a good... Uh, it's a really good dash attack. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, that about wraps it up here for your basic body functions. Talk about your soul. Inside of you is the Omega Factor, which acts as a soul. This unique feature is what separates you from other robots. Come closer. And here he is. Let's go ahead and talk to him. And here it is, the, the Omega Factor. And then with that, you can um, power up, uh, power up any of your attacks. So. Alright, for the uh, six power-ups that you can upgrade, here's life that increases your life, punch that increases your punching abilities and strengthens it, laser it increases your uh, laser power for your finger laser and your arm cannon, shot is um, upgrading the uh, machine gun, jets uh, increases the number of jets you can use, and sensor, uh, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. Um, I think it's a really good idea to upgrade sensor earlier because in later levels it lets you see better through like fog and stuff and lets you hear better and all that stuff so let's go ahead and upgrade sensor first you see that that's your Omega factor it's your soul my image has just been imprinted on your young soul souls develop with each new encounter or image it is exposed to so which time you meet someone new their image gets imprinted on your soul filling up your Omega factor so whatever you do keep this in mind meet as many people as you can human robot those who are strong those who are weak but be those good or bad whoever they may be when your Omega factor is filled up <coughs> your soul will strengthen its capacity is greater than any humans uh, yeah, I will probably, most likely, definitely not be uh, doing 100% in this game because, oh my gosh, is it difficult because you have to find every single person and that fills up your, uh, I mean, it's good to find every single person because you can upgrade your, uh, use your full strength yet, alright, blah, 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 blah. Alright, life increases your max HP, increase your attack strength, increase the arm cannon, machine gun, number of use, jets you can use, ability to see and hear become better, greater. Seven forces, to be used to seven forces, trying to meet as number of people as I can, alright. This is because you still have not come to understand them 100% yet. The souls of some people, some people also uh, appear as a question mark, it's a clue that you need a better understanding for that soul fill in the question mark space and you'll eventually learn to understand them once these question mark spaces are understood they will change the exclamation point these will help you know who you still have the left to find it is crucial for you to understand these complex souls okay okay all right here's Wato she's a student all right hey nice to meet you oh she already got kidnapped oh that's more freaking thing the princess peach that's more bad than princess peach jeez I just met you and you already get kidnapped jeez Yes, sir. All right, let's do it. Metro City. Let's go. First level in the game. All right, let's get started here. It's running away. Come back here. Because I, I have, yeah, I'm not 100% in this game, which uh, in turn means that you'll have to find every single person. But I'm not doing that because I don't know where every, sing every single person is. Uh, yeah. If I somehow get 100%, then awesome. But don't don't count on it. Also, you need to get out of here. Yeah, this game is a really fun, really, um, uh, mix of a platformer, beat em up, and all that jazz. Also, you need to stop. 
Also, Sega in the back. Sega's in the background. I don't know why. Probably because they're one of the developers or something, or the publisher or something. I don't know. <laughs> well, I clearly didn't look at the beginning of the game in the credits, in the opening credits, because it's listed all a bunch of uh, companies that made this game. And I obviously wasn't paying attention. Alright, come here. Thank you. Also, I'm getting my ass whooped, as you can see. And, oh gosh. Alright, let's go ahead and use the arm cannon. Oh god, I dodged a bullet there. Use the arm cannon. Right there, and, oh gosh. Kill those guys. Ooh, get some health right there. I almost screwed myself right there. Uh, I already know um, one of the people here, and he's right there. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Or not. Let's go ahead and, uh... Let's, oh, damn it. You know, I'm just going to use the arm cannon and get rid of this guy. There we go. Now let's talk to him. Alejo, or Alejo, or Alejo, and blah, blah, blah. I can't believe it. You're a robot. <coughs> Jeez, that's amazing. Wow, I didn't expect to see anybody here. I grew up around here, so I knew this area like the back of my hand. I'll be cheering for you. Good luck. Okay, thanks. Alright, we got Alejo in our party. Alright, let's go ahead and upgrade our life, because apparently I'm getting my ass whooped. So now we have 40,000 life instead of 30,000. Which is really nice. And one of the things I really want to upgrade as soon as possible is my arm cannon. Because, oh my gosh, you, are, you guys already know how powerful that is. Early in this game, and one hit kills people, and these bees are freaking tiny as hell. Alright, let's go ahead and whoop these guys. Ooh, nice kick. Alright, get... Astro, thank you. Have you guys ever seen the movie Astro Boy? Like the, the modern movie? I watched it. It was pretty good. Also, hey, your pick. Oh, the missile came out of nowhere, dude. That was really cool. Alright, just gotta go shoot you guys. Hey, oh, that doesn't do anything. Alright, let's go ahead and use the arm cannon. Alright, sweet. Okay, let's go ahead and use the EX dash. Boom, did you see that? That was incredible. Alright, can you give me health, please? No. Alright, let's go ahead and use the machine gun. Because there's enemies all around us. And then follow up with the arm cannon. Nice. Alright, now it has an elevator. Or an elevator. And a uh, towering level. Part of the level. Let's go ahead and kill all these enemies here. Okay, sweet. Alright, come here. Thank you. Alright, you need to get out of here. Ah! Come here. Flank ya. Alright, these guys, these enemies are pretty... I was gonna say they're pretty easy, but they're kinda kicking my ass. Damn it! Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die! Oh gosh. That was too close. Alright, just use the arm cannon. Get these guys out of here. No, screw you guys. Are you serious? I died in the first level of the freaking game. That's a great start, you know? Didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Okay. Right, come on. Well, oh, I'm doing good now, apparently. And holy slowdown. Yeah, this game has a lot of slowdown because of the way that you attack enemies. That was nice, the thing I did at the end there. And spiders. Anyone else freaking hate spiders? I freaking hate spiders, dude. Although, who doesn't hate spiders? Everybody hates them. Jeez. Alright, come on. Alright, kill these spiders. Yeah, for now, you can only carry uh, five super, but you can carry more over time, I think. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, you can. It's been a while since I played this game, but I do know. Still, 
still know most of the things. Alright, come on. Dude. Ah, dang it. Alright, come here. Alright, so we got took care of that. And holy! Alright, the first boss of the game. Let's use the arm cannon. And holy crap, that wrecks. Alright, let's use it again. And dude, that wrecks so hard. I forgot how. Alright, let's just use the punches and finish him off. That dude was easy. And boom, we saved her. Thank you, Astro. You truly are a special robot. Well, I just did what any other robot would do. Magnemite is still up ahead, ahead of us. All right. It made the robots go out of control. There's another boss. All right, I'll take it out. All right, got Watto. All right, let's go upgrade our laser. As you can see, now it's purple, but it's powered up as well. And holy jeez! Oh, he's got his own command man. But might. Oh, I still hit him. Okay. I thought you're supposed to hit him. All right, come on. I thought you're supposed to hit his like. Oh, damn it. I thought you're supposed to hit his like his little bump up here on his back. All right, use this. And you're humping the ground. What the hell are you doing? All right, damn it. All right, come here. Would you stop humping the ground, dude? That's not very cool. Alright, now what this guy is gonna do is this is super annoying. Did you see that? See, that's so bullcrap. Oh my gosh, I hate that so much. Aw, oh, that's stupid. He was invincible. Alright, come on. Alright, stop humping the ground. Get up here. Yeah, it's a really good idea to use your jets to um get invincible. Because of your invincibility frames. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, use this. Ah, oh, that was kind of a waste. Alright, keep quickly use the arm cannon. Ah. Uh, Alright. Arm cannon. Okay, one more time. Should do it! Alright, screw this guy. Ah, uh, this guy is this guy was always a major pain in the ass for me. Early on in life. Okay, do this. Didn't know that one shot you. I mean, come on. That's kind of bullcrap for earlier in the game. Damn it. God, this guy's a freaking. Alright, All right, screw this guy. Alright, screw you, dude. Alright, keep punching this. Ah, oh, come on. Alright, do this. Okay, do this. Alright, come on. Get out of here. Oh, that was a waste! Come on! Alright, you're a freaking pain. Oh, what? Come on! I'll see you guys in a second.
And that's it! Yes! Finally! Oh my god, this guy was annoying. Stage one clear. Oh my hand. For that double tapping. Jeez. This guy was a pain in the ass. Having a hard time with Magnemite? Hmm. Looks like you need to evolve. What is this, Pokemon? Who are you? I'm Atlas, and you must be Astro, eh? How do you know who I am? I'm quite familiar with you. I'm the one who set up Magnemite to fight you. But you aren't quite good enough for me just yet. You must grow stronger and evolve. Haha, <laughs> not just for me, for your own sake, but for mine as well. I'll see you later. There's only one person who can be built robots like him, but it can't be. Getting some plot. Ha ha ha. So they meet at last. Astro and Atlas and Astro. No. Tobio. Well, this must be their fate. I have a feeling we know who that guy is. Good job, Astro. <coughs> Jeez. Who is that robot doctor? He said he knows who I am. He's, well, let me tell you about him some other time. Right now, I'd like to introduce Dr. T Tawashi of the International Police. Hello, Astro. The reason I came to see you today is because we have a favor to ask you. I don't know why I gave him that voice. Recently, many incidents have been occurring over the Pacific Ocean. They are all, all involved aircrafts melted by high temperature. We'd investigate, but we can't get near the site because of the heat. We could use your help. I heard you can handle up to 900 degrees. They need your help, Astro. Show them what you're made of. Yes, sir. Oh, I almost forgot. This is your new sister, Zoran. I created her. Oh, God. Good thing this girl is a cannon. She'll keep track of your activities to tell you what you should be doing. Hi, Astro. <laughs> Was that it? This, yeah, she's so useful. I moved your jet limiter so you can fly over the Pacific Ocean. Alright. But I'm going to pause it here, guys, because... Alright, we're getting a little bit over the limit here. So, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Astro Boy Omega Factor. And I'll see you guys next time.